right now. I'm just really tired. So I just decided to do a live. My mom told me I should do a live sometime. And I go, okay. And so I'm just watching Kodata. Just a show that my grandma watches. But like, it's a really good show. It's like this like sport, competitive survival show <laughs> so <laughs> what are you guys doing today That's on. <laughs> what time is it there? It's about like 5.30 probably. What is it? Let's see. Yeah, it's about like, it's almost 5.45. And I went to see what time it is in Los Angeles and it's like, my eyebrows are perfect. They're not. They're like odd right now. Look at them. Mm, but... I've done a live without makeup, so I'm fine now. <laughs> I, I feel feel good. Um, yeah, it's almost 5.45, and I checked the time in Los Angeles, and it was 8.35 a.m., which I know it's, like, when I'm in L.A. or, like, near L.A., I usually do lives at, like, whenever, like, usually around 4 or something like that. So I decided to change it up and do it in the rest of the world's time. <laughs> At around 5.45, almost 6. Sorry, I'm playing with the remote. <laughs> it's Dance Moms Tuesday today. Are you a dedicated viewer? I don't watch Dance Moms. Um, It pops up on my YouTube recommended sometimes. And if, like, I don't know, I just click on it because <laughs> it's entertaining in a way i don't i don't really know how to explain it but um no i don't really know when it airs or anything Euh, maman et mamie sont à Carrefour. Je crois que euh, euh, maman elle voulait chercher le livre de Obama. De... Tu fais quoi tu dis Je fais un live, tu sais ce que c'est Non. <rire> c'est en fait c'est sur Instagram, là où c'est sur oh, mais, Non, non non non, ça bah oui, c'est à la télé mais je me sur pause. Um... Un live, c'est que... Je sais pas comment dire en français. C'est sur la télé que tu fais ça Non, c'est sur mon téléphone. T'as vu, là, comme tout le monde, tout le monde t'entend, là, en fait. Hein tout le monde t'entend, là, en fait. Ah bon Oui, ils te voient pas, parce que la caméra, elle... Mais la télé, pourquoi la Parce que j'étais en train de regarder Colanta. Ah Mais je voulais mettre sur pause pour deux secondes. Jailer. Oh, I'm guessing that's a Taylor and Joe Alwyn fan account. Are you French? Yes. Your French is very good. Thank you. Hmm? Il fait chaud. Vraiment? Moi, j'ai un gilet. J'ai pas, j'ai pas chaud, là. T'es pas chaud? Non. Ouais. <laughs> Quelqu'un te dit bonjour, mais pas en français, mais ils disent bonjour. ever coming to Australia, Victoria. Checklist is to travel the world because I like traveling, but um, I haven't been there yet. It's not like I haven't really planned on going to Australia in the near future, but definitely in the future. Um, 
have you watched Spider-Man Far From Home? I have not. It actually came out like a day or two before I went to France, so I didn't have time. I was packing. Um, hold on. I'm watching the questions. What is your favorite subject in school, history, and math? I'm not a fan of science. Too complicated for me. Like, it's just... Ugh, and I don't like I I don't want to know about all this gravity stuff and things that I just don't I don't know like it's just not my thing. And then English, it really depends on the teacher just cuz like the teacher in a classroom changes everything. Um but like yeah, even like last year I loved my teacher in English and the year before as well. But it's just, I'm just not an, an interesting subject for me. Um, let's see. Do you watch The Society? It's a Netflix show. Yes, my friend told me about it. I don't watch it, but definitely on my to do watch Netflix list to, on the on the list of what to watch on Netflix. There you go. Sorry, I lost my words. <laughs> Are William and Lene your best friends? We're good friends, but, like, we're not, like, just super, super close. I mean, Will lives on, like, the other side of the country, and then Linnea lives in San Francisco, so it's hard to, like, talk all the time, but we do keep in touch. I actually spoke to Will recently. Um, on his move to England, Cameron Boyce, yeah, I've actually been crying about that so much. I don't know if you guys can tell. I look a little red, but, like, um... Yeah, it's really devastating. It's like, I don't... The way I'm saying it right now is definitely not the way I reacted to it. I'm like keeping everything in right now. I'm holding... There's a little... There's a different surface. I just kind of put on a less sad surface on the live. But like, I am very, very sad about it. Yeah. And I just, I really hope that like a lot of people just learned from that though you know what I mean because he died so young that like I hope a lot of people learn to spread love while you know while you're like living while you can have fun and like I'm not saying that you're gonna die like no I'm saying that time goes by so fast you know like I read this quote on the internet and it's just I don't know really stood out to me and it said Life flashes by your eyes, so make sure it's worth watching. And I, when I see all these, like, Instagram videos of Cameron and, like, and his family, I don't know. Like, you just, especially, like, I think all of us or a lot of people, um, like, watching young Jesse and Jesse, like, growing up, it kind of makes him, like, us just feel like we, he's, like, our friend or, like, that we know him. You know what I mean? Um, and just kind of, like, seeing all these, like, Insta videos and all these pictures at, like, the beach or whatever, like, like, he lived life, you know what I mean? Like, he enjoyed life, and I think that's what's most important. Um, and also, he passed in his sleep, you know, he, it was peaceful, like, it wasn't, like, a, like, some gun thing, or, you know, yeah, no, I'm just... He's in a better place now where he's not suffering from a medical condition. So that's just... That's not... Time heals everything. He was so young, didn't even... Not sure what that means. Yeah. I know what you mean. I'm glad someone understands. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even... I mean, I don't know if he did, like, bad choices. You know what I mean? But he didn't die from bad choices. You know? It was out of anyone's control. That's, like... It couldn't really be prevented. You know? It's really sad. Um, 
Have you ever seen the show called Person of Interest? I have not, no. Also, I'm really sorry I haven't posted on my Instagram in, like, a week. I have pictures that I want to post. I've just been, like, really off, like, spending time with my family, and this whole Karen voice thing just kind of distracted me. Um, I just didn't really think about posting with everything that's going on, and also I've been spending a lot of time with my family, so I've been off the phone. Um, but... I do have some pictures that I took in France. <laughs> do you watch the Avengers? I love the Avengers. I really, really love the Avengers. Tu restes combien de jours encore? Uh, je reste jusqu'au 26. Je parle 26 et je serai à Los Angeles le 26 parce que le décalage horaire sera... What is the food you like most in France? Um, probably crepes. I really, but like, I, I like a lot of things in France, but crepes, even like, I make them at home as well. Um, definitely one of my favorites. Have you met Justin Bieber? No, I have not, no. Did you watch Hannah Montana? I did not at the time. Definitely heard of it. I heard of it. Sorry, I've seen some scenes on like Insta or YouTube and stuff. Um, but that's about it. Do you love your fans? Of course, I love my fans. <laughs> no, je lis les commentaires. Do you like Billie Eilish? I do. I li I listen to her music. Um, they're really nice. They're really nice. I don't know how she comes up with her lyrics though. That's just crazy. But I love her songs. What's your favorite movie? I don't have a favorite movie. Um, I like genres because I'm quite indecisive. Um, I like action movies, comedies, rom-coms. I'm not the type for horror or thriller or any of that stuff. Mm -mm. No, no, that's not my thing. So I just, yeah, Avengers or any like magical series like harry potter you know you know um <laughs> uh hold on i had a question up here sorry i'm like how did you meet taya brooks i met taya it was last year me and mika went to dinner and then taya came along and that's just when we met at the grove have you watched Spider-Man yet? I have not. Do you like Carrie Styles? He used to be my celebrity crush in seventh grade. Not anymore. <laughs> what do you wish people knew about you? De quoi? Ah, ouais. Bah, on l'a pris parce que... Je sais pas si t'as vu, mais le t-shirt de Paris. Bah, on savait pas s'il était trop petit, donc on devait comparer. <laughs> Do you wish people knew about you? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Probably, um, that I have a personality. Like, I feel like on the internet and stuff like that, or when I go to events, like, I shrink myself down so much that... Uh, I'm I'm, mo I'm I'm comfortable with the people that I connect with really easily. Like Brooke is someone that I connect like Brooke Butler, um, is someone that I connect with connected with very, very very easily. So I'm very comfortable around her. I'm very much myself. My best friend obviously um, in my hometown or just you know where I live. I mean she's my best friend, so I'm I'm always gonna be myself around her. You know like people that like 
understand me, they're like easygoing. Sometimes certain people, I feel like I'm not cool enough for them. So that kind of relationship takes time to open up, you know? Um, But yeah, I just like, just for some people, I wish that they knew that I actually have a personality and I'm not just, like I'm fun, you know what I mean? Like I'm a fun person. Um, I just don't show that all the time because I shrink myself down. Because of confidence, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't know what I w- really want people to know about me. Okay, let's see. So you like Harry Potter? Yeah. I have my Harry Potter wand at home. I didn't bring it. I mean, our suitcases are super heavy. I don't think a Harry Potter wand is very necessary to bring to France. But... I do. I love, love, love Harry Potter. Definitely, yes. The Avengers Endgame, I love that movie. I loved it, too. I really, yeah, I cried. I think I was the only one who cried. And my mom was a pretty emotional person, and she didn't cry. I mean, I was crying. And I'm not a crier, so it's, like, <laughs> opposite. Um, do you think I'm going to Toronto someday? Maybe someday. I don't know. Quoi? <laughs> no. Um, are you in France? Yes. How is your day going? Great, great. I went for an 18 mile walk today. I'm kind of dead, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> really, just. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was a long walk. So, my mom and grandma went to um the grocery store and i i'm staying like i'm not walking today (laughs) there's no way um which is favorite place where you find pieces what do you mean like where do i go where i find like peace is that what you mean the best I don't think of myself as a celebrity at all like at all like mm -mm, no I just don't think of myself as that um the best celebrity I mean I can't really choose like every celebrity is different like just like everyone in the world is different you know we all have different personalities different styles so I don't know I mean my celebrity crush is Shawn Mendes, and I honestly think that Shawn Mendes is probably, for me, the best, or one of the best with Taylor Swift, because they, like, are both, for me, just so, like, genuine, you know, even, like, I don't know, I just, I don't know, yeah, but they're just, for me, they're kind people, for me, it's like, you know, genuine people are people that I like, I guess. <laughs> Hello, have you ever met Taylor Swift? I wish. I really wish, yeah. I went to her concert when I for my 13th birthday. Not on my 13th birthday, like two months later, but you know. Um, she was just amazing. So I wish I'd met her, but she was less than a mile away from me. You know, that's a goal. So... <laughs> When did you start your modeling career? I started when I was nine and a half. Um, wasn't supposed to be a career at first. It was more of a try. But, um, you know, like, to be honest, I'm 14 and I'm just going through the phase. Well, not not a phase. Not even a phase. Just a point in my life where I'm figuring out what I really like. And as much as I like modeling, I don't think that's what I'm going to do, you know? Um, but I still like it. You know what I mean? I still like to do it on the side keeping my options open (laughs) who is your favorite character in harry potter they're all so different it is so hard to choose like i feel ron is probably the one i like to relate to just like (laughs) um i love hermione i feel like without hermione harry i feel like in the i don't being honest i feel like without hermione harry potter wouldn't done like half the things he did in all the movies because i feel like hermione was really like the center i feel like she was like the brain of it all 
I mean, obviously, she's smart as heck. <laughs> if you had a choice, would you live in France or in L.A.? Um, again, they're so different. They're so different. Yeah. France is, like, more of a culture than, than I, like, that I notice, like, than America, you know what I mean? I really like America, though, because, like, there's, it's open, like, there's possibilities. Um, what I like in France, okay, pros and cons, here we go. <laughs> Hold on, let me just read some of the questions and I'll answer that. Um... What do you think of Shamila? I have, like, shipped them for a while now. Like, even, like before the whole Senorita thing came out, like, shipped to them. I just thought that they were just, they kind of match, you know what I mean? Like, even in, the, in their voices, they kind of match, and, like, they're both such kind people. I mean, not that I know them, I wish, but you could just tell. Um, so I just, yeah, I feel like. They belong. They belong together. <laughs> What's your favorite music? Pop music. And 80s. Um, key? Bye, on a dans la salle de bain, no? Um. Uh, so many questions. <laughs> tu connais le français en entier ou t'as encore du mal um, Je perds mes mots des fois. Si je suis en France, ça prend au moins 3-4 jours pour moi à parler sans accent. Um, J'ai un peu un accent. Un peu, un peu. Um, mais ça prend quelques jours pour moi à perdre mes mots beaucoup moins. T'as vu, je perds mon vocabulaire. J'arrive pas, j'arrive pas à parler sans qu'il y ait des gens français, des personnes françaises euh, autour de moi. T'as vu, j'ai mon accent. Maintenant, c'est horrible parce que je deviens nerveuse. Euh... I don't like you. Okay. Well, there's a great X button on the right if you would want to leave. <laughs> I guess. Sorry for being rude, but. I gotta defend myself from time to time. Would you ever audition for World of Dance or Dancing with the Stars Junior Dance Moms? Do you like to dance and consider yourself a dancer? I'm a ballroom dancer. I don't really dance contemporary or lyrical anymore. Lyrical, um, hip hop, jazz, point were like my favorite types of dances but unfortunately I don't dance those anymore um I don't know if I would but even if I like did I don't know if I would audition for them I think it'd be more of a hobby um have you watched friends yes I have um not I haven't watched it fully just my brother watches it a lot so I just kind of like sit on the tv so I've missed a lot of it um I did start it and then I stopped it for, to watch to continue another show that I actually started before I watched Friends, and then I'm gonna go back to Friends, and then when I'm done with Friends, it's probably gonna take a while. <laughs> um, I'll watch whatever. Can you sing? I can sing in the shower. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm a good singer, but I don't know. How many languages do you know are able to speak? I can speak English, French, a little bit of Chinese, but that's like, that's in like the back of my head. If I took classes again, I'd probably come back a little bit more, like easier. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning Spanish next year. Okay. <laughs> so now that I'm at the bottom of the questions, I'm going to just answer that one question about France and America someone had that I said I would answer. Okay. From France, I feel like there's, like, more of, like, a 
culture, there's more like a, there's like a different behavior. You know what I mean? Um, it's just, I don't know. It's different in a way. Um, and, but the people in France are more like, like they're, (laughs) that's like the French thing is to kind of be like that. Where in America, it's, it's more like open, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I feel like, do you feel like there's more possibilities? But in terms of like environment and stuff, like in France, every like historic place or like theme parks or things like that, I feel are are closer, you know, whereas in America, if you want to go see a historic place, like for me, if I wanted to go to even the Golden Gate Bridge, that's like seven hours away from where I live. The Statue of Liberty, that's like six hours of like you know, an airplane trip, airplane trip, sorry, you know, so it's, like, very far, but it's, they're both very different countries, so I'm not really sure I would want to live. What is your hobby? Dance. (laughs) Dance is my hobby. Um, I really, really have a big passion for music, um, so I might try out in that field, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm still figuring out my life, you know? <laughs> but right now, I'm moving into acting, and I'm just trying different things. Like, I'm someone who, like, likes to try a lot of things. I like trying, a, like, five things at a time, you know? Like, that's me. I, I want to try everything. Like, even when I'm, like, 75, like, I'm still going to be doing things. Just because that's what I like to do. Favorite book? Um, anything mystery or Harry Potter, basically. I know I keep saying Harry Potter, but it's just such a good series. Uh, I really like Nancy Drew. I'm probably going to continue those. I stopped reading it, though. Uh, but I was, like, younger, so... Um, we'll see if I, I'll continue reading that, but... Um... That you sang with Maddie B. Raps moment. I did not sing in the video. A lot of people asked me that because there was like a girl's voice in there. That was not me. Do not sound like that. She sounded like at that time. I had like a high pitched like weird voice. I literally watched videos that I did like less than a year ago. Okay, probably a year ago or so or less than a year ago my voice deepened like it was <laughs> it was pretty different it was really weird i don't know if that's like the phone that's doing that but um yeah have you met any stars from harry potter no i have not that would be really cool though i would really like to meet emma watson yeah she's probably someone i would really like to meet do you like listening to audiobooks more or reading books reading books Audiobooks, not my thing because I'm a visual person. So when, like, when I learn math or when I read, like, I have to see it. Same with stories, like, in history, for example. Like, okay, if I'm reading something, I have to see the words. Or I'm, like, pretty much not even listening because it's so hard. Like, I'm listening, but I, it's very hard for me to process. Whereas, like, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just a visual person. So definitely reading books. When I like, even history, in history, when I read a history book, I make like a story in my head, like a visual where I can imagine things as I read so I understand what I'm reading. Uh, Would you ever make a YouTube channel? I have a YouTube channel. I haven't used it much, I'm not going to lie. But I definitely will. Will you ever come in Milan? I want to meet you. Oh, I would love to. Hold on, I'm gonna put you guys here. I just need to do a bun <laughs> just because my hair is just kind of floppy right now. Um, I'll read the questions. I look like a cherry tomato. That's ew. <laughs> ew. Hello. Wait, there were like a ton of questions. Who is your idol? It depends whether it's in modeling, acting, or music. In modeling, it would be Barbara Palvin, just because she seems like a fun person, and she's 
beautiful and I feel like she's different and in acting um I would say Jennifer Lawrence just because you feel like she's a normal person like she's funny she's such a funny actress um and she like she's a good actress you know what I mean like in movies and and, and in shows her work is just like just amazing and then when she's in interviews like Jimmy Fallon, she's totally herself and she's just not she's like unapologetically herself and that's just what I love. Um <laughs> Jada uh -huh. And then in singing, Taylor Swift, Shawn Mendes, Ed Sheeran, Billie Eilish. Um hold on, let me read some questions and I'll extend on that. Do you ever go into France class? You mean like learning French? No, I French and English are like my first languages. I would say French would be my first language just because like everyone in my family is French. So that seems more like a main language, you know, more emphasized. Um, what kind of music do you prefer to listen to? I listen to rock music for... Oh, okay. Okay. So I prefer to listen to pop. I'm a pop person, and if I would listen to rock, it'd probably be something like Imagine Dragons. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not a big rock person, I'll tell you that, but, uh, yeah. And I saw the movie Bohemian Rhapsody, and I heard that it was like a rock mixed with like opera, kind of. I mean, that's what I heard. Um, Queen is really nice. I love listening to Queen. Um, yeah, those are like... The bands I like, I mean, there are many bands that I like, but those are the two that I can name right now. But pop and 80s, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oops, someone made a fake account of my best friend. That's not good. <laughs> um... Cutest cherry tomato ever seen. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you. If you could be a Marvel character, then what do you want to be? <sighs> That's hard. That's really hard. Um. And that's something to think of. I have absolutely no idea. I used to say Black Widow, and I still love Black Widow. But I love Ant-Man, because, like, <laughs> I feel like I relate to Ant-Man and, like, Iron Man the most in terms of, like, what happens to me and in personality. I feel like I'm, like, a mix, kind of. Um, I love how, like, the most unfortunate, like funny things happen to Ant-Man. You know, in a way, that's what I really like about his story. What is your favorite Bailey Eilers song? Um, I would say My Strange Addiction is really nice. <laughs> Bad guy, obviously. Um, I like Hostage is nice. I don't listen to that one as much, though. Um, hold on, I just went blank. There's so many songs. I just went blank. Have you ever been in Germany? I have not, but I've been very close to because my dad, very close to Germany, sorry, because my dad um, comes from Alsace or like near Strasbourg. So I've been near it. <laughs> How old am I? I'm 14. Taylor Swift's, what is your favorite song from Taylor Swift? Um, there are so many, it's so hard to choose. It's just like movies, I can't pick a favorite movie. Um, obviously You Belong With Me and Love Story is like an original for me, you know? Uh, 22, that's like an inside joke between me and my best friend. So that's a really nice song. I really love her whole entire Reputation album ready for it look what you made me do i like everything from her honestly <laughs> do 
Do you like sports as a school subject? There's a fly. It's a really big fly. <laughs> Do I like sports as a school subject? Not my jazz. <laughs> I will tell you. Not my cup of tea. Um, yeah. Not really. <laughs> not really. I'm not a fan of running the mile whatsoever. <laughs> I try my best, but it's really not my thing. Are you in France now? I am. Do you like frogs? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have nothing against frogs. Um, do you like Wonder Woman? I love that movie. The new one. I I have a trouble pronouncing her last name. Gal Gadot. Gadot. I'm not really sure. But I think you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> do you know Zed? Yes. Love his music. I don't know him, but I love his music. I wish I knew him. <laughs> What's your ideas about guitar? I'd love to learn guitar. Um, yeah, it's a very beautiful instrument. Favorite Shawn Mendes song? <sighs> I l- In My Blood, Senorita, obviously. And Nervous. I really like Nervous. I feel like there's something that I'm missing. Oh, If I Can't Have You. Um, He has a ton of songs that are just so good. Again, don't know what to choose, but those are just some of my favorites. Do you listen to rap? I don't usually listen to rap. That I have to be in like a certain mood for that, like like a like specific mood. I'm not a big rap listener. I'm not saying that I'm against rap. I like rap. You know what I mean. I just don't listen to it. Um, but that's what like a lot of like teens play at like parties and stuff. So I have a hard time dancing at parties because it's hard for me. Like if I don't know a song, or like I don't like the beat, it's just a little bit hard for me to like get along to i don't know if this is the same for you guys but if a new song comes out from like any artist if i listen to the first time i'm probably not gonna like like it that much and that's when i listen to the second and third time that's when i'm like i decide you know what i mean where i'm like oh this is like my jam or like like not like my thing but um I don't know if that happens to you guys. It's just a random thing. A random fact, I guess. <laughs> uh, did you watch Stranger Things Season 3? Don't get mad at me. I have not. I haven't even started it. I was really excited for it. But it came out on July 4th. And I was and I left, I left for France on July 5th. And I had to pack. And I'm not a good packer. Like, I overpack. Like, it, and plus, I don't travel, like, every two weeks, you know? I'm not used to it. I don't exactly remember the things I'm going to use. Or, like, the things I should bring. Or is, like, not necessary. So, it took me a lot of time. So, I did not have much time to pack and i mean too much time to watch stranger things sorry do you have a skincare routine yes i do Mm, what countries do you want to visit i really want to visit everywhere like i don't know these might not be countries but these are just places i really want to visit amsterdam um australia I want to go to some more islands in Hawaii. I've been to Kauai and Maui, and I just, I want to go back. Like, it's just so beautiful. Um, you know the song Feels by Calvin Harris? <laughs> I do. I love that song. Do you mean the one... Feels... Is that the one with Katy Perry, right? And, like, ten other artists? <laughs> Favorite instrument? Uh, I love acoustic guitars and the piano as well. I think those are probably my two favorite. Or ukuleles. Um, yeah, I'd love to learn the piano. And I'm sure that it, like, it takes practice to do this, but like I have a hard time like differentiating the movement of 
the two hands. So if I press with like my index finger on a note, my other hand's index finger will do the same thing the same way. So it's really hard. Uh, but I'm trying. I'm trying. like huskies oh huskies are really cute are you in paris now i'm not in paris i'm in the north of france do you listen to indie music i feel i feel like i have like once or twice i don't really know if i am like i don't i have a, i mean I think I've tried listening to it before, but I know a lot of of my friends, like not a lot of my friends, but I know some friends definitely that listen to Indian music. It was like quite a trend a while ago. I think I'm, are you crying? No, I'm not crying. Sorry. That's just the light that's behind me. Not crying. <laughs> Do you have any strange habits? Yeah. I do. Those are more like ticks though. Ticks are really annoying. Like I'm like trying to stop them. I do have ticks. Yeah. I'm not sure if I want to talk about them. It's quite personal. <laughs> it's like a, kind of a personal thing at the moment. Um, they're also really weird. Um, what do you think is your perfect height? I'd like to be 5'7". Five, I'm 5'5", five, five, but... Um, I Yeah, I'd really like to be 5'7". What is... What's the story behind you being born in Hong Kong? Why did my phone light just go down? Here, we're going to go on the other side. Okay. <laughs> What's the story behind you being born in Hong Kong? Uh, my two brothers were born in France, and then my dad had... Well, he didn't, like, change up, but his... He had to move, like, places to work. Yeah, we just had to move because of my dad's job. So we moved to Hong Kong, and then I asked him to move to Singapore, so we moved to Singapore, and then from Singapore to U.S. So his job is, like, very, you know... I just we it's been eight years since we've been in the U.S., which is good news, because in Singapore and Hong Kong I only stayed there for three, um, three years, yeah. So I'm just glad we haven't had to move. Do you watch soccer? Um, I don't think about it, but like in like the World Cup and stuff like that, last year's World Cup. I did not watch it. I wanted to, but I kept waking up too late because I started, like, not hearing my alarm. I was becoming, like, a really deep sleeper, so I couldn't hear my alarm anymore, and I put my alarm, and it did I don't even think it rang. Like, it rang. Sorry. I didn't hear it, <laughs> so I didn't, I could not watch the World Cup. Um... Do you know about set? Like, the musician? I know his songs. Do you play any online games? I don't. I would like to. Like, I, I like video games, you know? That is <laughs> I don't play them. Um, I don't really think about it. I'm always, like, preoccupied by something else. Or I'll always have, like, something else on my mind. Should I watch Harry Potter? You should. Well, I feel like you should read the Harry Potter books first, but, like, your choice. But, you know, the movies are great, too. <laughs> Do you have any tips for clear skin? Um, don't scrub too much, because that can irritate the skin. 
and learn about your skin because we all have different skin types, different colors, and with different colors comes different heritage, which means if it's oily, if it's dry, like a lot of people from one heritage don't usually get acne. Others are like prone to acne. You know what I mean? Like it's just everyone is so different. So like learn about your skin type because that's really important. And the second thing that's really important, which I didn't really know. Uh, je dire, je ouais, je sais, je Elle est chaude? Oh, elle est très chaude. Ok, bah, je viendrai, je viendrai. But the second thing you should know about... Sorry, I got scared. I didn't know. <laughs> um, the second thing is... That's very important is how you apply your products. I used to apply moisturizer like this. Now I have to, like... You know, I put it in hand and this. And then you, you have to, like, pat it on. From what my dermatologist said. Um, yeah, I feel like those are the two most important things. And there are, like, so many different products. You just have to know which one's good for your skin. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm reading the questions. Um. Oh, Brooke, I miss you too. I wish you were here. I miss you so much. We should, okay, I know like I might have not have like so much time when I come back because I might do a dance camp or something like that. But I really, really hope we can hang out again. the weather in france it's just beautiful the day we came it was kind of gray where i am like like gray sky not like the sun the sun was out obviously but like couldn't really see it but the rest it's just been really beautiful there's like blue skies not that much clouds and it's quite hot so good time for swimming yeah <laughs> is that your dad speaking to you in french no that's my grandpa <laughs> My dad actually is leaving France soon to go back home. Is your dog also in France? No. No, he's he's in the US. <laughs> he's back at home. What was your first impression in France? Uh, well, this is not the first time I've been in France. I first time I went to France, I was like a little baby, so I'm not. I don't don't remember what I thought about it. Um, yeah, I don't really remember. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> When, like, someone, like, creates an account of, like, my friend and then goes on. And it has the same profile picture, but there's a letter in the username where you think it's actually your friend, but it's, like, it's not. Like, I just read um, a comment from Brooke, but it's actually not Brooke. It has two L's in Butler, and I didn't realize that. Always happens. It's happened with Will, Brooke. It's happened with... It's happened with, like a couple people actually and it always gets me and it's just super annoying <laughs> especially because I don't realize it on the live this is the first time I actually realize like during live whereas like when I say the live save it sorry and I and I look back at it I'm like oh, that wasn't that wasn't my friend that was actually someone else do you like Ed Sheeran love his songs I think I'm probably gonna have to go soon guys um but I will do a live soon. Do you consider yourself a normal, per normal person? Yes. 
very normal <laughs> and very weird. Um, yeah, definitely normal. I don't think of myself like, I don't know, I just, I'm me, you know? <laughs> Um, let's see. What was your first impression of Paris? I went to Paris when I was, like, four, three. Um, I only remember one thing, and that was going in the Eiffel Tower. That's the only thing I remember. But I went to Paris again. But where, the, where I went, it was great. I loved it. But then I went the next day, and I went to, to the train station. Gosh... Like, my dad told me, like, if you know how to drive in Paris, you know how to drive anywhere. The driving there is so bad. Like, it's, it's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, you're just, people are honking everywhere. And they don't really, like, it's, even, like, the crazy drivers in LA are better than the ones in Paris. Like, (laughs) I'm not even kidding. It's, there's not really, like, any rules, like, there are rules, obviously, there's laws, but, like, people don't really care, and it's just, it's crazy, you kind of have, my mom told me, like, you kind of have to guess what the person in front of you is gonna do, because some of them, they don't put their, you know, their, I don't know how to say it in English, I know how to say it in French, it's like, you know, the, um, the clicky thing, like, (laughs) you know, where the light, it, like, goes either, um, lights on the right or the left to, so people behind you know if you're going to turn right or turn left. Don't remember how that's called in English. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of Millie Barbie Brown? She, oh, I love Millie Barbie Brown. I love her personality. And plus, she's so young. She's so young, and she's already so amazing. How did you feel when you found out about the death of Cameron Boyce? This is how I found out. I was, it was the second day in Paris. I had, like, no Wi-Fi for the past, like, day and a half. So, I had no idea what was going on. I didn't go on Instagram. None of that. Um, Also contributes to the reason why I haven't posted. And I went on my Instagram for the, like, when I actually had Wi-Fi for, like, five minutes. And I saw a picture of Cameron Boyce. And I didn't, like, read the caption or anything just because... It was like kind of like almost like a behind the scenes picture kind of like after an interview or before an interview and I think it was yeah it, it was from Young Hollywood I believe or Radio Disney no Young Hollywood and I didn't read the caption because I thought it would be like oh like new video with Cameron Boys go watch it so I, I thought it was going to be that and then I went on my stories and I landed on Brooke Butler's story and she posted Cameron Boys on her story and I thought wow like a lot of people are posting Cameron Boyce today, and I read it, and it said, rest in peace, and I was shocked. I couldn't even, I can't even tell you. It was shocking to me. Like, I had, an, I didn't know what to think. Like, it was, I, even to this day, it's hard for me to believe it. Like, it's been, like, what, like, five days, four days? Super hard to believe it. Like, good. Uh, that actually happened. Um, yeah, it's a lot to take in. What's your favorite color? White, blue, green, and any light or pastel color. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go now. But thank you guys so much for joining my live. And uh, let me just see if there are, like, any last questions. Okay. <laughs> worst book you ever read? I don't have a worst book I read. If I read it, it's probably because I like it. <laughs> I don't, I, yeah. Yeah. I don't have a worst book that I've read, but thank you guys so much for joining my live. I will do a live soon. And... Yeah, so love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye!